to another episode with me, Ashwin Abraham. Enlightenment through knowledge. Today we are going to see an another poem from class for class seven that is Andy Garnish. Before moving to the poem, let's see some pre idea about the poem. Okay, first of all, you all have the book, right? Okay, so that is from the unit 2, section 3. So, I already explained about the sections and all. Remember in the last previous video for you? Okay, so moving forward, Andy Gorish. Basically, actually, Andy Gorish is a place in uh, Canada, you know that, right? Okay. A neighboring country to USA, United States of America. And this poem uh, says about a ghost experience. Uh, you know that ghost, right? It's some, uh, it, not devil, we can say. A ghost experience uh, a person had. And it's uh, uh, according to the reports. It, uh, in that time, it was all over in the newspaper. It is in the uh, uh, last uh, 18, 19th century thing and that time it was in newspaper and all so from that newspaper uh, uh, the poet who was the poet William Hughes Merz okay William Hughes Merz so we will uh, abbreviate it to like W H Merz okay the poet name is W H Merz so he was inspired by the a newspaper uh, stories, newspaper uh, things about the ghost experiencing Andy Gornish. Okay, so we will see something about uh, Merns. Merns is an American poet. Okay, W. H. Merns, uh, who was an American poet, U.S. citizen, and uh, he was very much into the uh, pointing of poetic field of children. And W. H. Merns encouraged the young generation or the children to write the poems, uh, prose and all these things and uh, he was a good friend of children okay so we will see uh, about the poem Andy Gosh actually I said it was happening in 1899 and it was a real experience a man had in Andy Gosh that is in Canada so let's begin the part. Yesterday, upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he had go away. So here he says that who the man says that yesterday I have seen a ghost in my home. Okay, in actually that is in his chase in the home stairs he had seen a ghost. And he was very frightened by seeing the ghost. Okay, next, it's very simple poem. There is not much uh, utopian idea or it's not much difficult, and there is nothing in the poem. Okay, so we will go ahead. When I came home last night at 3, the man was waiting there for me, but when I looked around the hall, I couldn't see him there at all. So, you uh, maybe you have seen in some YouTube videos or in uh, uh, Google or something like that uh, about the ghost experience, right? In the movies also we have seen. Uh, first of all, we will look to share and there is a ghost sitting there. Suddenly it will be going, uh, vanishing and coming again. And the same experience the man in this poem also had. He came home last three and he just suddenly he saw a ghost sitting in the chair and that vanished from there coming again going again and uh, that go away go away don't you come back anymore go away go away and please don't slam the door and what are you seeing then okay so uh, actually this man he is very frightened and he is saying to the ghost that Go away from this home. Don't ever come back. That is why he emphasized the word go away, go away, go away. And don't slam the door. That slam the door means 
opening and shutting the door in a, uh, in a high volume okay so don't make that things okay because that frightens the uh, the man in the poem okay and moving to the last stanza last night i saw upon the stair a little man who was in there he was in there again today oh how i wish he had go away and he is finally he is saying that uh telling begging the ghost don't come ever to my home and uh, yesterday he was the who the ghost was there but today he is not here and uh, uh so i thought who thought the the man in the poem thought that the point uh, the ghost has gone away from his home and uh, by this last answer we can uh, come to a conclusion that uh, a 50 50 chances sometime there was really a ghost but maybe there was in a ghost and uh, maybe uh, he was imagining all the things okay so that's about the poem it was very really and simple a uh, poem which you can understand easily the poem andy ganesh written by w h mons w h mons okay so it's a poem uh, a person had some maybe imagination or maybe the real thing but poem used that was a uh, the re but the, uh, all the stories come as true okay it was written in the newspaper in 1899 from that newspaper only the poet had taken this uh, this part uh, this portion and he written uh, a poem okay so that's about the poem and hope you are enjoying your lockdown but be safe have a great day